Okay, so we're gonna skip this one. So here are your optional parameters, right? So instead of doing it uh, on here, we're gonna look at what's called the docs and colors tab, okay? So some parameters are required, like top, left, width and height for a rectangle, right? But there are a lot of other things that we can do to this rectangle besides just drawing it. We can uh, define its color. We can define uh, whether it has a border or not, the color of that border, the width of that border, right? So there's a lot of things that we can specify about this shape, right, that are optional, right? We don't have to specify them. You can see that in my example here. I didn't write about any of those things and I was able to draw a rectangle, okay? So if I go to my Docs and Colors tab, this will be your best friend throughout this course, okay? It's gonna bring up, uh, you know, here's your information about the basic canvas, right? But if I go to this search bar right here and I type in uh, R-E-C-T for rectangle, okay? You can see that the very first option is Rect in Shapes, right? So I'm gonna click on that, okay? And what you can see is that uh, it's giving me all the information that I need to know about a rectangle that I, I could potentially fill in, right? So it's giving me the syntax, right? R-E-C-T with a capital R, right? And then it's giving me uh, all of the different parameters that I could use uh, inside of this rectangle. So you can see the first four are our left, top, width, and height. And below this box, it does say that these are the four required values, right? These are your required parameters, okay? Everything else after these four, which is all of this, these are optional parameters, right? So for example, I could specify that the fill, which means what color is the uh, the inside of the rectangle, I can specify a color, which we're gonna talk about colors in, in a little bit, okay? We can also specify whether there's a border, okay? And what color that border is. We can specify the border width, the opacity, which is how uh, transparent the shape is. Can you see through the shape or is it entirely uh, you know, solid and not see-through? We can rotate the shape. So if I don't want it to be uh, to look like a rectangle and I want to rotate it so maybe it looks more like a diamond shape with the points at the top and the bottom instead of left and right, I can rotate the shape. We can make the border dashed instead of uh, instead of solid lines, okay? This alignment thing we're going to talk about later, but we can adjust the where the alignment is. By default, it is the left and top, but we'll talk about that later. And we can specify whether or not the shape is currently visible, right? So we can, it, at the start of a program, once things get more interactive, we might want to create an object, but not have it visible until some situation makes it visible, right? So these are our optional parameters, right? So if I go back to my sandbox again, right? I could do something like say, let's make the fill for this one, okay, red, okay? And so now when I run it, I can see that this optional parameter made the shape red, right? I could also do something like border equals blue, right? And I get a blue border, right? So these are, I don't need to put these in here, but these are how I'm going to make my, my shape a lot more interesting than it currently is, right? So we will use a lot of these, but you can mix and match them. Uh, you can also place them in any order that you want. If I put border before fill, it'll still work, right? So these are not things that you need to, uh, to worry about the order of. They're just there and you can use them as you need them, right? But they're they're there to customize our shape, okay? So that's optional parameters, okay? So let's talk about colors a little bit more, right? So we already saw uh, that I can add in a fill uh, command here. And again, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see the code, right? So I can add in a fill optional parameter and I specified right here the color that I wanted, okay? The color uh, that I specified is lowercase, right? So it's not a capital R here, okay? and it's inside of a single quote, right? So if I were to do this instead and not put this in quotes, okay, and try to run this, you can see that down here, I'm getting an error message. It's saying, I don't know what red is because that's not how we write it. That's not the syntax for colors. So, okay, so colors have to be inside of a single quote, okay? And then the same thing is true for border, okay? I can specify any color that I want, right? So these are what are called predefined colors, right? The, the program that we're currently running for through CMU, uh, they allow a certain number of colors that they've just said, you know what, we're gonna just let you use the word red for red, right? 